Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. So today I'm gonna do what I eat in a day. It is 10 a.m. right now. I'm just drinking on some ice water and I'm about to make myself a smoothie. So I'm gonna make a smoothie. I'm gonna drink that, um, do some Etsy work, and then we'll have lunch. So let's make a smoothie. Delish. Let me actually try it for you and tell you if it really is delish. Delish. I don't even taste the greens. Bobby, I gave some to Bobby the other day. And I'm pretty sure I made it almost exactly the same. And he said that it tasted like greens. I don't think it tastes like greens at all. Okay. So let's take this, go upstairs, get some work done on Etsy. into a mason jar. I put in some almond milk. This is vanilla. I've been using just almond milk lately or oat milk, no creamer. Um, it's probably about a quarter cup. I'd say maybe a little more. It's only 45 calories for eight ounces, so it's obviously really, really good in points, and that's why I've been doing it. Then, I just spray some Fat-Free Ready Whip right on top. And that's it. There she is, a nice little iced coffee. Okay guys, for breakfast, I mean for lunch, I'm gonna make egg salad. I already have some hard boiled eggs, so I'm gonna use those up with my cute little eggy, eggy slicer. So I'm gonna use three eggs. I'm 
just going to take my scale, put it right on top, put it on zero, and do 30 grams of light mayo for three points. Then I'm going to do a tiny bit of this Dijon mustard from Trader Joe's. It's whole grain, so I'm just going to do it a little bit. Be like that much. And then some salt and pepper. Tina might accidentally come twerking down the stairs. What? I said I better watch for the kid rat. So Tina might accidentally come twerking down the stairs being summoned. You ain't nothing but a hoochie mama. I didn't hear any. No. But also said, he said that would be impressive. I said she could twerk it, but she's afraid of the stairs, so it wouldn't work. Now I couldn't twerk down the stairs. <laughs> crazy. Nor should anyone really. I can't even walk down the stairs. I know you can't. Without fearing my life. To be fair, when I see you twerk, I fear for my life. Hey. For my heart stopping of love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit down. Sit down your buttocks. She's all mixed up. Then I'm going to take two pieces of the white 6 for 7 bread. This bread's so good. I know this is like a thick sandwich, but that's okay. There was only three eggs left, so let me taste it. Mmm. It's not that bad. I like it thick anyway. Okay. I'm going to take some of this baby romaine that I have. And just put it a little bit on top. And that's it. Then I'll cut her in half. Beautiful egg salad sandwich. Look how much egg salad that is, but that's fine. I have water upstairs. Um, um, let me see if I'm going to have anything on the side. I don't know. I might just have this and then, you know, have a snack in a little bit. Actually, you know what I know I want? Hold on. I'm actually going to have one of these um, little Asiago cheeses on the side. They're three points, but... I mean, they're not huge, but they're not that bad in size, and they're really good, so I'm going to have that, water my sandwich, and then, you know, I'll come have some sort of snack, you know, soon, because an egg salad sandwich is going to kill me. I don't know, I don't know what we're having for dinner, but, um... I'm hungry right now. We don't have a lot of food here, so I'm gonna have to get creative. Maybe we'll order something, I don't know. But I'm hungry, um, so I'm gonna have a two point English muffin real quick with, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do butter, like I can't believe it's not butter, light, or cream cheese, so we'll see. But I'm gonna make this real quick. So I'm gonna use this whipped Philadelphia chive. Um, this is really good. There's only a little left, like I don't even think that that's two tablespoons worth. Um, but I think it's more than one tablespoon, so I'm just going to use whatever is the rest, whatever is left in here, count it as two tablespoons, which is two points, and call it a day. Um, yeah, so like I said, don't know what we're doing for dinner. I already, um, I finished up all my orders, and I just dropped them off a little bit ago. As you can see, I'm wearing different glasses, which I will tell you about shortly if you like them. I love them. I think they're so cool and so different and so unique. And if you could guess where they're from. Oh, yeah, this battery is about to die. So I'm going to make this English muffin, go upstairs, eat it, change the battery, and then I'll be right back to talk to you about my glasses. 
Okay, so I want to talk to you guys real quick about my new glasses. How cool are they? I am so excited to be saying that I'm working with Zimf again. So I have been talking about Zimf for a while now, and I absolutely love them. So Zimf is an online glasses company. Um, you can get prescription glasses, which is what I get. Prescription glasses, um, blue light blocking glasses, um... Just regular glasses if you just want to wear glasses, you know what I mean? Sunglasses, prescription sunglasses, and they are so affordable, but so good. Like, so good. Such good quality. If you've been watching me, you know that I've been working with them a few times now, um, and that is why I got this fun pair of glasses, because, of course, it's pretty bold if this was your only pair. I probably wouldn't be able to do that. But now that I have so many pairs, I'm able to, like, switch on and off. Um, so these glasses, they are in clear orange. I will put the name right here of what they are, the name of them. Um, they are so big and so fun. And honestly, I just love them so much. I think they're so different and so like vibrant and fun. Obviously I can't wear them with everything, but that's okay because I'm really enjoying switching my glasses up all the time. I will link in the description box all the pairs that I have so far. Um, they're super affordable and I'm not joking. I used to always go get my glasses at the, at places like Pearl Vision and, you know, places like that. Um, like stores that you could go to and get your eye test and get some glasses. And I would always end up getting like Michael Kors frames. And it really wasn't even for the name of it being like Michael Kors. It was because a lot of those places didn't have that many like stylish type frames to choose from and they just so happened to be the ones that I liked because I tend to like bigger frames you know so Zimf has so many men's and women's glasses it's unbelievable so many um and if you watch recently the last time I talked about Zimf I got sunglasses and prescription sunglasses for the first time ever and I'm not joking it legit changed my life like I still sometimes forget that I even have them because I'm not used to having prescription sunglasses, but it is so nice. If you wear prescription glasses and, and you don't wear contacts, then you know how much it sucks to not be able to just throw on a pair of glasses. So I'm so happy that I have sunglasses now. So these are my new glasses. I just wanted to show you. If you want to check Zimf out, definitely use my code TINA to save 50% off your frames and 20% off lenses, which is a really great deal because they're already super affordable. Like, affordable by, like, I mean, like, $20, $30 for a frame. So you'll get 50% off of that, which is, like, what? For a frame? Michael Kors frames, like, 200 to something? Yes. Definitely check them out. They're amazing. I will never stop raving about them. I will work with them for as long as they're willing to work with me. I love them. And I will say it's been months now that I have been using all of the frames that I've gotten since my video like a few months back of the first time I got fr frames with them. And they're still amazing. Like they are high quality frames. The same exact thing as the frames I had before this, which were black Michael Kors frames that I used to wear and these are all of them so far have been amazing quality they're just amazing so definitely check them out like I said Cotina to save 50% of your frames and 20% of your lenses and yeah so aren't these so fun I think they're so fun I really do I'll take them off and show you they're very big keep that in mind they have all different types though they have really big ones, you know, they have, they have everything. Big ones, small ones, medium ones, all different styles for everyone's style. Because I know that these are not everyone's style. Just want to share that. And yeah, that's it. So definitely check Zimf out. Number one. Best, 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 best. When I tell you guys that I was like so close to being like, let's just order out. I was like this close, that close, like a little tiny hair. We have very little option as to what I can make. So I have these two Angus thin sliced steaks, right? Um, and I have ground beef. So I'm going to make like a taco bowl originally I was gonna use the ground beef but these steaks say sell by yesterday so i'd rather use those up 
because yeah it's all by yesterday so I'd rather use those tonight um I've never made steak like this ever is it boneless I can't even tell like is that a bone Bobby's like the steak master but he's busy um and these are just like thin cheap steaks so I'm not gonna like ruin them or anything you know so I'm just going to I guess cook them in the pan I guess and then I'll try and slice them really thin um hopefully they come out okay and then I'll do like a little bowl with like I'll put rice on the bottom oh my god do we even have rice I hope so um but hopefully as long as I have rice I'll do rice on the bottom um you know some cheese I have avocado I'll do some Greek yogurt I don't know whatever I could find we'll see I guess wish me luck because I never made steak like this I'm just going to put salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder on top. I'll put like a lot of salt. I'm taking that from Bobby because Bobby always puts like a ton of salt on steaks. So. so I'm going to put it on medium heat and let it get hot. Then I'll add a tiny bit of oil and I'll put the steak in. Just to update you, we don't have rice. Okay, so we don't have rice. So how am I supposed to make a taco bowl with no rice? Like, what am I supposed to do now? <sighs> what a mess, honestly. I honestly don't know what to make. We have to hope that this steak comes out like really good and it's okay to just eat on its own, I guess. With like mashed potatoes, maybe. I don't know. I think this is hot though, so. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just spraying some olive oil. Actually, like a lot of it. <laughs> and I'm gonna put them in. Okay, so it doesn't look that bad, but how will it taste? This video will probably be out before Bob's birthday vlog, but if you watch that, you'll be like, wow, you went from, because we had like really good steak on his birthday, You're like, wow, you went from that to that, but all right. I don't know. I guess I'll just cut it up and see. I don't even know how to cut it, you know? Gotta try it. Little thin pieces and I'm sure it's just fine. It's cutting fine. Let's see. It's not bad. It's not super chewy. It's good. It'll do, it'll do. Now let's figure out what we're gonna eat it with. Look what I found. I forgot I had this, cauliflower rice. Not the best, you know, not regular rice, but that works. Okay, five minutes. Look how big this seed is and look how little this one is. Isn't that so weird? Look at this. We're so out of everything. We're even out of lettuce almost. Like, I'm pretty proud of us though. Because that's amazing. I love running out of stuff. It's so satisfying. Like, oh my god. Don't worry, it wasn't my finger, but it would have been my nail. Um, if we're about to finish this thing of lettuce right now, and it's going to satisfy me so much. Perfecto. Let me tell you guys, cauliflower rice, cauliflower rice, cauliflower rice does not smell that great, but it's zero points, well, 20 calories, probably do like, I mean it's zero points, so it doesn't matter, so I'm just going to do, let's see, 
Don't do that much. Half a cup. It's only about enough for half a cup for two bowls in here, honestly. I just want to add some salt on top of that directly because I have a feeling it's not going to be good. I'm sure I'm not going to like it. Let me taste it. Now this one might be weird, but I only have part skim mozzarella cheese, so that's what I'm gonna have to use. So, let me get my scale. This is turning out to be a pretty healthy dinner, I gotta say. Quarter cup is 28 grams. I think that's probably gonna be like three points or something. I'll look in a second. I'm going to put it on top of the rice, or at least some of it. No, I'll just put it all right on top. 20. Oh, no. It went over to 31. Oh, well. Let's see. Actually, sometimes, just so you guys know, so sometimes, like, it will say... Sometimes it will say 20 grams, right, is a serving size, and that's, you know, whatever much. But when you go and look in your app, so you're going to scan it, right? Just in case you're just starting Weight Watchers, 28 grams is two points. I accidentally did 31, right? Yeah, 31. And 31 is still two points. So actually, so this is what you do. So move your thing up and keep going until you see how much you could get. So actually, you can have 35 grams for the same, for two points, for the same. So always double check and do it by grams. So you get more, you know? Now I'm going to do some steak. So let's see how much steak I should do. Oh, I'm going to switch over to ounces and I'm going to do three ounces for two points. I'm doing two ounces because that's definitely enough meat for me. Some avocado. Usually I always do 46 grams and that's two points. Usually about this half, half of one is um, 46 grams usually. Some lettuce. Just a little. That's kind of a lot. Some lettuce. What else? Greek yogurt, fat free, or zero percent, whatever. Zero points as well. So I'm going to do quite a bit of that because I'm going to pretend it's sour cream. Zesty ranch sauce and the salsa verde sauce. I'm just going to drizzle them both on top. Um, you can do zero points and you get a pretty good amount. So I'm going to switch it over to grams again, and let me see, because it's only 20 calories for a serving. So switch it to grams in your app, and you can have 11 grams of the Zesty Ranch for zero points. Oh my god, I just got it all over. Luckily not on my shirt. Let's eat. 11. And then the salsa verde, you can only have 6 grams for 0 points. But that's okay. 4, 5, 6. Okay, and that's it, friends. A little steak taco ball bowl, kind of, whatever. So yeah, now I gotta make Bobby's. <laughs> I should have made his first. It's pretty good, actually. I mixed it all up together. Um, and it gives me Chipotle vibes. I, I don't know. It's pretty good. The steak isn't that great, but it's pretty good. The Greek yogurt tastes just like sour cream when it's mixed with all this stuff. It's like totally like mind. Like it's so weird how it tastes just like it. I'm like pleasantly surprised. And the cauliflower rice is good too, with everything else with it, you know? If you just ate it alone, that wouldn't be good, but 
yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm so glad I didn't order out. I'm really happy because now I'm within my point range. I still have four points left for the day. And I'm probably going to have later, I think I'm going to chill, watch a movie, have some popcorn and a soda later. And those will be all my points. So we'll see. Alright guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I'm going to end my night off with a Dr. Pepper Cherry Zero. These are really good. And a bag of popcorn. Um, so I get the 100 calorie ones. So they're three points for the whole bag. Um, I like to do it that way because that way I don't eat more than I should. Um, if I popped a regular size bag, I would eat. I probably wouldn't eat all of it, but I would eat more than I was supposed to. And then I'm going to top it with this movie theater butter for zero points, which is like probably straight up chemicals. Who even knows? But that's what I'm having. I got in all my water today, ate on plan, and pretty happy about it. Like I said, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to check out Zimp.com um, and use my code if you want to get some prescription glasses for yourself. Highly recommend. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.